Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to simulate rolling a pair of dice. And we're going to do this with a TI Inspire program. And so we're going to be programming in the calculator for this. So what we want to do is get a new document and then open a calculator page. This is where we can program. And then under menu, you'll find programs and we're going to make a new program. So let's do that. So if I get a new page here, I'm going to add, add calculator right there. And then under menu, I can go here, functions and programs, number nine, program editor, and then I want to do new. And what's the name? Well, we're going to call this dice. It's going to be a program, and you can do library access. Uh, you can do it public if you want, or you, I don't think it matters. Okay, and so there we have it. And then this is the split screen where we have uh, what the program is on the right-hand side here. And so we want to put the things in that we need to put in. Then the next thing we want to do is make sure that each of our variables are local so that it doesn't mess with any other variables that you have in your calculator other places. So it'll just be particular to this program. And so uh, what we also want to do is initialize them. This is a common computing technique. And then we need to also use this store button here, which is control variable. And you see the little stow up there. So we need that. So in my program, I'm going to call this local. And notice that it straightens up. It's not italics anymore because that's a command. And local, I want to local, localize green. And notice that this is in italics, which means that it is a variable. And there's nothing in there right now. And so then I also go local, and I want to do red. So these are variables. This is like an X, and this is like a Y. Uh, except for now I call it green and I call it red and each one of those will have a number in them so starting off I'm just gonna put in zero and then store that into my variable green and then I'm also gonna do the same thing for the red so we have both of those variables stored what we want to do next is that we want to put in a randomized number in for each one of these variables our next step then is that we want to store randomly generated integer values one to six in each die what you can use this is the old command that i learned many years ago and i also used in the tie 384 i haven't used it in the inspire so i don't know if it works but i know that this one works this just delivers a random integer between one and six one and six inclusive and so that will give me the information i need for each of the die dice i mess that up when i'm talking okay then and then we want to display our results. And then we'll look at uh, the variable when we want to display a variable versus the word in quotation marks. And we're also going to put in the sum. So in my program here, I'm going to go rand int. And you can find that in there someplace, or else you can just uh, go ahead and type it in. And we're going to store this into my green. And I forgot the one through six. And so I need the one comma six. And then I do exactly the same thing for the red. So what will happen is that every time that I execute this program, it's going to give me a random integer and store it into green. It's going to give me a random integer and store it into red. Now I just need to display them. And as I said here, we need to display our results. So what we use is nothing really far out but it's disp that's display and what we want to do is we want to display and you can put it in any order that you want but uh, if I want to put the red variable that will print the number first uh, let's do green I'm sorry if I do green just to be consistent and then I'm gonna put in quotation marks and I'm gonna put in green and what this will do is it will display the word I'm sorry, the number here, because this is the variable, and then it will display that word because I have it in quotation marks. Then I also want to display red and do exactly the same thing. Put a comma in between, and then that will allow us to do this. Okay? And then the final thing is to make life easy for ourselves so we don't have to keep on adding these up. I can go display, and I want to do the green plus the red and I'm going to put comma 
and then I'm going to call that a space sum. Okay, and so that's going to give me the sum. And if you can't see this, you can actually scroll this window open over a little bit if you want to. Okay, and so here's the program that we have. Now, I don't know if this works or not, but what you can do is check for syntax, go to your menu, and then check syntax and store. And then it says that it's stored successfully. So what I do over here then is I got to go dice, and you got to include the open parentheses, close parentheses, and there it is. And it will return one for my green, six for my red, just to separate these out. And we talk about having different uh, dice, and so we know which one's which. And then here's the sum. And all I have to do is hit enter, and it will keep on doing this for me. And there's six, and oh, I'm only getting, oh, there's a bigger one. Okay, and so you can keep on doing this. Matter of fact, this is a counter for you, and this will keep count of how many times you've recorded, if you record this by hand, how many times you've recorded each one of these pieces of information. All right, I hope that helps you get you a start on a little programming and get this in your calculator so that you can roll the dice. Thanks a lot.